Hey everyone, it's Vizcourt. Welcome to this video. And in light of the new BNHA manga ch chapter that just, well, to me apparently just came out now, Dabi's Dance. I already made a video about it, like giving my whole spoiler review. Link will be in the description and in card anything. But so I wanted to just commemorate this special moment in the BNHA series by. So. Okay, let me explain this. So I was going through my Twitter as usual, and I found this post right here, this thread that says proof that Dobby is a time traveler. You're smoking crack. Stop. So I'm going to be using the information that we have just learned from this new manga chapter, as well as, well, my personal information that I know about the series, and we will be going through this thread and debunking it. <laughs> Well, just reacting and debunking it at the same time. And this is the first unscripted video I've made in a while, as you can tell from <laughs> from the way I'm treating this. So, yeah, I haven't read this. We're, we're basically reading this together. And, yeah, let's just get... <laughs> wow, you're fine. Let's get into this. The Holy Bible. And God damn it, you guys are gonna need it. So, thread, proof that Dobby is a time traveler. I am so interested by this. Okay, disclaimer, I am right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, disclaimer, I am right. Hori, I hope uh, you have my post notifications on. I have figured it all out. So this person, this has to be satire. This person, because this person really believes that they're right about this. Or they're joking about it. Either ways, curious, let's jump into this. So, uh, Dabi is an ambiguous character in the book in academia. He has an A, uh, or 5 out of 6 in mystery, and we know nothing about his interests. Dabi could be anything, so I have come to the conclusion, in fact, that he is a time traveler. By the way, I also did make a video <laughs> talking about uh, Bakugo being a time traveler. That was interesting. For some reason, there's a lot of time traveling stories in My Hero Academia. So it was curious, for like for now, the ones I'm aware, and I do consider this a lot because it's more than they should be, which is zero. I know, so there's Dobby being a time traveler, there's Bakugo being a time traveler, and there's also Kirishima being a time traveler. I'm not sure about anybody else, but yeah. So it gives us evidence that uh, he has a five out of six, an A in mystery, and we know nothing about his interests and yeah his, he has fireproof clothing okay next one Dobby introduces himself he says he currently goes by Dobby which has been revealed in Dobby's dance that yeah he is Toya so this implies that he has multiple names say uh, one of those names might be Toya well now it's confirmed that it definitely is Toya but Toya could be one of the many names he's used over the past couple of centuries oh <laughs> Okay. Is this nigga serious? With all of the other one for all users, we see that one has similar. Oh, do you know what I hate the most? I hate when it has. Oh, they have similar hair, so it has to be him. This they use this same pretense to say that Bakugo was a time traveler because this hair that Dobby coincidentally has is the same hair as Bakugo. And and muscular, so they say. Oh, just because he has the same type of hair, this has to be a time traveler. This has to be the one for all user. As if okay, now we have more instances of character with the same fucking hair. So oh no, ah, oh, it oh. <laughs> I'm so sick of these people. You know. Oh. Anyways. So, uh, with the previous one for all users, we see that one has similar hair to Dobby. This could be Hori only drawing four types of hair. This is not true. As we've seen throughout the series, this is not true. There are more than characters who have... There are more than four different types of hair. Okay, why am I overreacting? <clears throat> Let's chill. <laughs> but maybe Dobby held one for all. I do not know. We have not seen any evidence to prove that... Uh, what Dabi is a potential one for all user. 
because there's more evidence to prove that Bakugo is a one for all user than Dabi. And I'm referencing the whole situation when Izuku woke up from a dream that he had with all of the one for all users. And he woke up because he caused an explosion in his bedroom. He even described it to All Might as an explosion. Now, in terms of Dabi's blue flame, it's not really a... It's not an explosion, it's just blue flame. It's cremation. That's, that's the unofficial name for his quirk. But now, since he's been revealed, it's kind of like blue hell flame. End of his Prometheus... Ugh, I don't know how to pronounce... Prometheus flame? I think that's the name of his technique. The one that he used on the, the Normus, right? So, yeah. There's no evidence except for this hair proving that he's a one-for-all user. Just hair. Hair is not important. It's just hair. Okay. <laughs> Even my... Okay, no, never mind. Let me just keep quiet on that. Davi has used his time-traveling techniques a few times within the plot of My Hero Academia. I am so curious to find out how. How did the League of Villains know where Class 1A summer training camp was? There is a traitor in UA! This has been a big debate throughout the entire series. I will make a video on this because I made a video and then I deleted it because, yeah, it wasn't getting enough traction. I'm going to remake it. But anyways, we see there is... Oh, wow, there is no traitor. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Pro! Oh my god, but instead there's a tri time traveling Dobby who went into the future to know exactly where Bakugo would be. So, straight up he discredits and he's like, yep, there's no traitor whatsoever. Instead, time travel. Bingo, I figured it out. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, right, couldn't Dobby create a paradox? And what would happen is that Dobby would, he could or would go back in time, kill Endeavor, okay, then he, or he could have just prevented himself from getting these scars. I mean, in the manga, he does say the past, he slams his chest with such passion, he's like, yeah, the past never forgets. So, he's like, come dance with me in hell, Endeavor, he, he was going ham on this whole speech. That he was speaking to, to Endeavor and I absolutely love it with my soul. And I already gave my review with like the little amount of chapters I had to reference off. Like the yeah, little amount of pages I had to reference off. But like Dabi's just like, come dance with your son in hell. Oh, if, if, oh, fuck, if Dabi was a time traveler, he could have just gone back and prevented that from happening. He would have gone back to make... Todoroki's, the Todoroki life a living hell. He would have made life hell for Enji and Shoto instead of kidnapping Bakugo. Kidnapping Bakugo does not benefit him at all. Because Dabi even explained how he wanted to make his big reveal after Shoto had become number one hero. So he didn't really care about Endeavor becoming number one hero. right? He wanted to make that reveal and ca basically do 2020 cancel culture on Endeavor once Endeavor had retired and Shoto was number one and be like, yeah, I am your brother and this is my story. So he would have had no need to capture Bakugo because it wouldn't have affected the timeline if Bakugo was captured or not. All Might still would have eventually retired. That we know. All Might still would have eventually retired Endeavor still would have eventually been number one hero or he would have been cancelled and you would have just retired and Dabi would have still waited for Todoroki Shoto to become number one hero and then he would do the big reveal. Bakugo, Bakugo does not jump into this. Maybe I'm thinking small, but Bakugo does not fit into the whole plan that would require Dabi to jump back in time. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, during the war arc, when everyone else is running in one direction, Dabi instead runs in the opposite direction towards Hawks and Twice's fight. How did he know this? Easily? Oh, easy. He time-traveled and saw the future. Now, for this, I suspect that Dabi ran in the opposite direction because he noticed Twice was not with everyone. And you could tell after Twice's death how angry Dabi was so he had a very strong attack uh, like attachment to twice so he, he would have noticed okay twice is not with us something is definitely going on 
let me go look for him. It's just like playing in a game of Among Us. You know, when somebody is missing, something is definitely up, and you go and investigate to find the body. So that's what was happening in this case with Dabi. He was like, okay, Twice is probably missing. Let me go look for him. Or Hawks is also missing. Let me go look for him. Worse, Dabi is like, Twice and Hawks are missing. This is definitely suspicious, especially with the fact that Dabi and Twice have some history. So <laughs> he would be like, he, he out of all people would know, I do not trust Hawks. Let me go investigate what the hell is going on, especially with the fact that two people are missing. One of them cannot be trusted. And one of them is our, is like our vital role in this war. Because he is one of the most key like pawns in this war. So let me go look for them. Okay, let, let's just move on. Okay, another instance is how Davi knows Endeavor and Hawks' names. Yes, because he is Endeavor's son and he has history with Hawks. As to the history that they have together, we're not 100% sure as of yet. Probably going to come up in chapter 291. But yeah, he knows Hawks because of their past and he knows Endeavor because, well, he's the child. <laughs> But I think he traveled back into the past to learn their names. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay! Okay, the first use of the word Endeavor was in the 14th century. Dabi is known to say the hero name Endeavor in canon. Yes, because that's his hero name. What the fuck? <laughs> what, did, what did you expect? So he may have used, uh, he may have been alive during the 1300s. That means Dabi survived the Black Plague. I don't understand. Okay. When, okay, he brings up when first was the word Endeavor ever used, uh, 14th century, Black Plague during the 14th century, and then this horribly edited Photoshop image of, okay, yeah, cool. If he wishes to go back further, when Dabi is fighting Gieten, who the, okay, I, can't, I cannot pronounce this name, even though I'm trying to learn Japanese, I cannot pronounce this name, Gieten? Uh, he says, ice melts. No shit, Sherlock. I mean, that, that was just, I feel like that was just horrible translation right there. Where it was like, ice melts. It's like that one meme it was like, people die when they're killed. This is the same thing that applied here. Also, that, uh, that chapter in Jujutsu Kaisen where he was like, uh, you know people die, right? And then they even poked fun of it. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? So I think that was just a horrible situation of translation when they said, ice melts. It was like, uh, he would, oh, uh, uh, my bad, I need to go it out. I need to wear my glasses as well. He, <laughs> he would he know... Oh, so it's not me. It's just this. He would he know this because he was alive during the Ice Age. What? <laughs> and he witnessed the melting of the ice as the earth... Now, nah, this definitely has to be satire. This definitely has to be a joke. I pray it is a joke. And I'm pretty sure it is. It definitely has to be a joke. Please tell me it's a joke. It is a joke. Right. I'm, go I'm definitely going to assume that this is a joke. <clears throat> Especially with the fact that you're pointing out that he has a 3.6 in intelligence. Like, half intelligence. Let's go back and just double check. Yeah, Dubby has half intelligence. So, oh my goodness. So, how can Dubby time travel? Is it a quirk? No. He has a C in intelligence. So, you def you're deliberately poking at the fact that he's... He's not the smartest. I think Bakugo has more intelligence. Actually, let's search this. Uh, Katsuki Bakugo. And my Wi-Fi is glitching. Ah, and my Google Chrome. Okay, thank you. So, we'll poke holes at this. And I'm pretty sure Bakugo has more... Bakugo and Izuku have more intelligence than Katsuki Bakugo. Honestly... And that's, that's the confusing part. So, uh, where is this normally found? Intelligence. Four out of five. Okay, uh, previously, here it's measured in six. It's like out of six. And here it's measured out of five. But either ways, Bakugo is smarter. Okay, let's do ultra one. There we go. Bakugo has a five out of six intelligence. He has an A in intelligence. Bakugo is smarter than Dabi. Bakugo would have found out that this has to do with some time travel. Bakugo would have figured some... Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Let's, let's, let's just 
find out exactly what he was talking about. <clears throat> okay, he has a sea in intelligence, so maybe he cannot explain how he can time travel. It's all instinct now. Shut up, bitch! Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, or possibly Dobby could explain in a language unknown to the characters currently in BNHA. What is he going to speak in like uh what what's this language that Adam and Eve spoke? Is it's Adanian or Adamantium? Okay. <laughs> Adamantium. Uh okay. I'm not gonna Google search it right now, but yeah. Maybe da- apparently Dobby speaks that because Dobby can speak in a language that man does not recognize currently in the beginning. Oh, my fucking goodness. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind, rewind. Hold it. Like, back to the future. <clears throat> if Dobby technically... Okay. Let's say this theory is correct. And Dobby is a time traveler. Let's refer to this. You live in the future. Yes. Why go back to the 14th century? Right. You live in the future. Why go back to the 14th century before your father was even born? Okay. Secondly, why would you say something as retarded as ice melts? Please, explain that to me. Why would you point that out if you're from the future? Is there no ice in the future? Okay, cool. <clears throat> cool. Maybe Davi knows a language so ancient and so prime. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Honestly, fuck off. That he, <laughs> when he answers this question about who he is, she just reveals that Toya Todoroki. Uh, and we simply lived in a black speech bubble. Hori did not know how to translate W's native. Oh my goodness. If you could see me right now, the face palm that I have. Okay. Dobby's age is unknown. I mean, if you look through the theories that explain that Dobby is Toya, you will find out explanations to, like, try and piece together what exactly Dobby's age is. Because we know that Dobby is younger than Natsu. Because in the manga, Dobby explains how he would cry to Natsu. Now, I don't know the situation. Personally, I, as an older brother, would not cry to my younger brothers explaining why am I born. So, it's assumingly, it's Natsu, Dobby. No, it's the older sister. I forgot her name. My apologies. Older sister, Natsu, Dobby, Taroki. So, he's like one of the youngest out of the four. Right? So... <clears throat> Dobby's age is unknown. We only know that he was born on January 18th, right? So when... Yeah? So he really is just a Capricorn causing chaos. Oh, please don't use star signs in this. Don't use star signs. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, maybe he, we cannot fully understand how old Dobby is because he is a mortal time lord. What the fuck? And I'm not even dragging this on just for the sake of time. I am literally... Okay, you know what? Um, he can time travel with ease. Why should his age even matter to begin with? Because it was adding to the mystery of him being Toya. Because if they knew that his age, they would have just found out even faster that he is Toya Totoro... Okay, no, never mind. <clears throat> okay, who knows what Dabi has witnessed? <laughs> Trauma. That's definitely what he has witnessed. Trauma. He may know what is in the liberty of Alexander. Okay. You, or how the Roman Empire fell. Or maybe he personally knew Jack the Ripper. I mean, this was in a time period where quirks didn't exist. Because quirks exist fairly in the future. Of, like, our current future. Quirks exist. So if W were to time travel back then. And he used his quirk. Looking the way he did. With all of these burn marks, not only would they think he was a demon and try and do like a witch trial, which honestly would have failed because, well, it's Dobby, <laughs> but he would have been documented in history books of, oh, there was this man who had burn marks, could use fire like a demon, and you know what, oh, my goodness, maybe I'm looking too deep into this, but this, at this point, it's absolutely ridiculous, how far does this thread go? Oh! Okay, yeah, this third ends here. We're close, we're close. Halfway there. I hope I didn't get copyrighted for that. <clears throat> Anyways, what wisdom has Dobby learned from his experience as a time traveler? Do you know what? His wisdom, what he has learned from this, is the past never forgets. 
I love it. Uh, what a you reap what you sow moment. Let us fall together, NG Todoroki. Come dance with your son in hell. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that rant right there. This is all proof I have of Dabi being a time traveler. It's not very convincing. This really has to be satire. Oh, I remember I promoted my video here. Oh, you should go check it out. Anyways, I don't know why he hasn't taken full advantage of his ability. Because he doesn't have two ability. I bet the person who made this, if they didn't make this a satire, must be feeling very dumb at this moment. Especially if they're watching this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to make you feel dumb, but like, what the fuck? There are plenty of good theories out here. Like, in BNHA universe. In BNHA fandom has a lot of good theories, and then there's this. Anyways, maybe he... Ah, my English. It is so late. It's like 9pm. Is it? No, it's not. Yeah, it's half past 7. My bad. Okay, maybe if he was a better time traveler, twice would be alive. Or maybe... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, go back up. Let's go back up. Go back up to this shit. So you did point out that Dabi knew twice was in that location. Because, like, Dabi knew twice was in that location because he's a time traveler, right? So that means twice, Dabi would have had to relive the moment multiple times, or at least twice, to know Dabi, uh, twice would be in that location, right? So if that's the case... Why doesn't he just go back in time AGAIN and just prevent Twice's death? Could, wouldn't that just make things easier? Or are you- you're, you're very picky about the way this guy's time travel works and how Dabi is traveling through specific points in time for reasons unknown. This definitely has to be satire. It has to be a joke. Okay? Maybe if he was a better time traveler, Twice would be alive. Or more people throughout history would know Stain's agenda. Why confide to Stain's agenda if you're a time traveler? Couldn't you go back in time and reshape it and title it as your agenda, as Darby's agenda instead of Stain's? Or are you aware of the time-space continuum where you know if twice, that if I change the way this ideology happens, then I as Darby would not be the way I am because I was shaped by Stain's ideology. Now, if that's the case, then you're basically re-implying Dabi is aware of the fact that the past is unchangeable. You can't change the past. To, it's like in Avengers Endgame when they said, you changing the past won't necessarily change the present. It'll create its own alternate timeline somehow. Like, I mean, that's kind of how time should work. This is why time is, a, time is an annoying concept. So... <clears throat> He recognizes that with this, you kind of recognize that the past is unchangeable, meaning twice is destined to die. You are destined to receive these burn wounds. And, oh wait, there we go. Thank you for reading this. Or, where? My, fuck my English. Thank you for reading this. Is all. You see, this is why comma is important. Important. This is why punctuation is important. They teach this at school. Anyways, thank you for reading. This is all a joke. And I have wasted my free time as well as ours. Thank you very much for... <laughs> I'm so glad this was a satire. I am so glad this was a joke. <clears throat> this wasted my time. But I enjoyed it, actually. I really enjoyed this, this, this head-scratching brain-numbing theory. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. You can check it out for yourself. Here, here's the Twitter handle. Thank you for wasting my time, wasting the time of everybody watching, and wasting your own time. As long as time gets wasted, because that's the theme. <laughs> that's the whole point of this. And I'm glad everybody managed to watch this with me, react to it with me, and laugh with me on all of this. And I hope to see you again in the next video. I am... Ah, I'm probably going to release one next week. I don't know. I'm in the middle of exams. But yeah, this has been Bizcode signing out. See ya.